ain't no Gretzky. Hoping these lame won't catch me. Riding through the way, no Jesky. Riding through the way, no Jesky. Bad. She straight, no Gretzky. Hoping these lame won't catch me. Riding through the way, no Jesky. Riding through the way, no Jesky. Stizzy pop. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Layback since '96, and I'm back at it with another sideline story. This sideline story is about the time me and my bros went to this Dave East concert. Um, it happened a month or so back. Um, it was on a Sunday, and it was in Atlanta. Now. The stuff leading up to it just made it so much more crazy than it had to be, you know. Like, we, we talked about this stuff weeks prior to the event. Like, a lot of people were like, they were on board and whatnot, and they going, blah, 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 you know. But, you know, the one reason why a lot of us, like, a lot of times stuff don't get done. Like, we don't do stuff. Like, we don't get together as friends because... A lot of these people are procrastinators and you know, they, they, they end up saying they're going and then they never go. So it'd be a waste of your time and money. Oh, hell no! You know how to put in and stuff like that. So, of course, this was going to be an element in this whole little ordeal. So, like I said, we, we talked about it weeks prior to the whole event, you know what I mean? And, you know, last week or so, you know, the last week, you know, right before it or whatnot, you know, the, well, the week before the week of, I guess. And all had to be the week before because, you know, Sunday starts a whole new week. So, we're going to go with that. So, the week before, of course, you know. People, the, well, one of the like main people who who even came up with the idea of us going, they um, they're pretty much saying they already had their tickets. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, let me go and get my stuff. Guess so I'm gonna get these tickets. Cause you know me, I'm over here like, the only reason I waited so late to get the tickets, cause again, they love to be like, oh yeah, we going, then ain't nobody going. You know what I mean? Been too plenty, too many times. You know, I'll be the one in the group that actually had the time the transportation the money and the effort to go to anything that the whole group sets up you know what i mean so it's just crazy like that and this time was apparently no different um <laughs> got it <he>. got it <he. laughs> um so like tuesday the week before the concert my boy Art's over here telling me how him and my cousin, cousin of Courtland, already got their tickets. And I'm like, you know what? Well, you know, if Arthur goes, shoot, and he's already talking about he's driving, that's darn sure my boy Darian gonna go. You know what I mean? And my boy George. I had, I already think, you know, really I was just thinking, you know, Darian, that means Darian gonna go. And uh, he said, Courtland, I was like, Courtland, that's my cousin, you know, that's my bro. So I'm like, shh. It don't matter if it's us four, we're going to rock that shit. We're going to kill it, right? So, you know, I go ahead and get my ticket on Tuesday. Crazy thing about it. Thursday hit. And I look back in the group like, okay, y'all got y'all tickets. Like, who all going? Who all driving? All that. You know, I'm just working up the conversation of that. And nobody has their ticket. I'm you what? What? Nobody has the ticket. Y'all over here telling me that I need to help me get my ticket. Y'all got y'all ticket. And y'all ain't got y'all ticket. Like, I was just like, what? And y'all know if I say I'm going to go, I'm going to go. I want a few people to actually do that. So for you to be, you know, edging me to go ahead and get my stuff, because you know I'm going to get, I don't, everybody knows the only reason why I wait till the last minute is because I'd hate to get it and everybody back out of this junk. They know how this goes. So for them to rush me to get the ticket and nobody had a ticket, oh, somebody gonna get that ticket. Somebody gonna get the ticket. True. I be darned. So, I was just like, so nobody got their ticket. Nobody got their ticket. I got my ticket. I waited as late as I could and still got my ticket for all y'all. Y'all was like, y'all know the, the thing Sunday, like, Tuesday, 
five days. I'm going with five days. That's what I'm going with. Five days. Five days away. And y'all over here selling got that ticket. I said, Lord, somebody gonna get this ticket because um, uh, we already agreed Arthur was driving and I wasn't driving. And I already got my ticket. So let's hurry up. So Arthur over here talking about he was trying to get his ticket and they were sold out on Thursday. I said, you butthead. <laughs> when you were telling me to get my ticket, why didn't you get yours? Why did you wait? Like that makes no sense. No sense. It makes no sense. Why? Why would you wait? Dude, why would you wait? Come on now. You know how this goes. So anyway, point being that, so he, 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 he's struggling to get his ticket or whatnot. Um, my boy Courtney got his, everybody got their ticket late. Like, and then there was even like a couple dudes saying they were gonna go and they were about to get their ticket and they were just trolling the whole time. It's crazy. You what? Crazy. Um, point is at the end of the day, my boy, my boy Corlin, my boy Arthur, my boy Darren, and boy George, they all got they tickets. So it was just us five, you feel me? In a group full of like nine or so, and everybody pretty much saying they got it, they're going to get there or whatever. And again, like I said, those four, excuse me, majority got them tickets like Thursday and Friday when they're going to sell out again. And I ain't going to tell y'all, and you know what? Yes, I am. I'm going to... The whole ticket situation got crazy enough to where, you know, one of my friends want me to buy their ticket. Because they talking about they don't know if they're going to be able to get to the um, bank on Friday before it closed. And I'm like, with a, with a two and a half hour gap and you're off, you can make it to the bank. There's no reason. Because I was like, there's no... What I hate to do is to pay for... Like, why even go through the whole thing of me and you having to owe me money? And you can just get your own money and get it. You feel me? Like we ain't got because he had to um he had to cash a check so it could be in his account or whatever. No one like, dude, but I'm not about to sit here and pay for your ticket because you got the opportunity to do it. Just do it. You know, man, I don't want to be late, dude. You got it. Like it's just a whole bunch of extra crap. With the dump. And that, that ain't even the trip yet, y'all. I had to tell y'all the stuff prior to the trip so you can understand the irritation of the trip. But, um, so, let's fast forward to the day of the trip, okay? Everybody's saying, like, meet around, because the, the concert is at, like, 7. 7, I think 7 Alabama time, but 8. Um, Georgia time, so or well, just Atlanta, you know what I mean? Birmingham time, Atlanta time, you do it like that. But um, so you know, we all talk about meeting up like at three, so we go head down there so we can eat, chill, relax before the move. I mean, before the um concert or whatnot. Of course, that didn't happen, guys. I'm pretty sure everybody, people were getting there late. I got there late. Only because I know that they be late. So I was like, it's t I'm tired of being on time early and then have to wait. So I was like, I'm going to be late. I'm going to wait till everybody say they, they on their way there. Because everybody said they on their way there. Like 30 minutes after we all agreed that we're supposed to be in at a certain place. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not about to do that today. Not today. So I'd say, I think it was like, pretty sure they said like four Three, I'm pretty sure they said three, but we all got there around like 4.30 or 5, I'm pretty sure. Something like that, on, on, the, on the lines of that. Because by the time we pulled up, it was supposed to be been time for the concert, but the concert didn't even start on time. <laughs> he already know. Davies already knew. Niggas ain't gonna be on time. Let's tell them an hour early, get them all in, start an hour out. Boom, so we driving to Atlanta, okay. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy about that, you know. <laughs> nah, not too crazy. But, um, oh, by the way, where we were DJing that thing, excellent. I have to give my boys credit with that, man. 
will never be riding nowhere and not be turned. That jump, that jump was clean, boy. Excellent, excellent play. But um, so we pulling up. Here goes the first um, thing about this. So we pulling up, and my boys are like, let's play some Davies when we pull up. Let's play some Davies when we pull up. They talking about let's play red bombs. Let's play red bombs. Had the windows down and everything. Had all the windows down. You know what I mean? My boy Art was driving, so it had none of my control. You know, if he wanted to do it, he was gonna do it, and I was gonna be a part of that whole situation. So that was the that was the plan or whatnot. How about no music playing by the time we pull up? By the time we pull up to the um, to the place where the, where the um, concert was being held, it was already a line of people outside the door or whatnot, and we was just sitting there, windows down, playing no music. I said, "Dang!" And you know, my boy Arthur. He's so down to do what everybody else want to do. Like, he, 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 you know, he's a real good guy that likes to, you know, make sure everybody's enjoying themselves. He likes to have everybody pleased. So, you know what I'm saying? If, if somebody's feeling like they're not having a good time, you know, he takes that burden on himself. So, he wants to make sure everybody gets their, their time. Like, he's easily influenced because of the fact he likes people to, you know, be enjoyed. You know, something he set up about. So, you know, Darian and George was like, damn boy, we need to go, we need to go make another loop, we need to make another um, round around with that music playing. I'm like, no, cause I'm like, I'm like, that is so like embarrassing. Like we already did it and messed up. It's just park, you know what I'm saying? Cause the parking is on that same street in that little tunnel. But um, Arthur, of course, drives past the little tunnel where the parking is. It goes back around another time. We play a red bomb, and here goes the kicker, guys. Here goes the kicker. The kicker. So how about nobody even bump into the music? You know what I'm saying? Standing us the same way, nobody bump into the music. I'm just, I'm low key, like thoroughly embarrassed already. I'm like, dude, we didn't have to do all that. We could just park. If we failed, it's okay. Don't try to pick yourself up. And then, you know, boy, Darren is like, Man, don't nobody know Red Bones? Like, none of these some true ass fans. I was like, look. And that's what we get. Well, that's what y'all get for trying to impress people. They don't even know what they did for. You know what I'm saying? People just probably have something to do. I do know that it was, um, it was some Dave East fans that was probably from New York that went to school in like in Atlanta or whatnot. Or, you know, drove down or whatever because the ticket was cheaper. Whatever it was because. They were playing a lot of Harlem old great songs, you know what I'm saying? And people just bumping that junk in Atlanta when the, when the concert had started. So, um, yeah. So we so after that whole fiasco of that, we, we, we pull into the little parking area or whatnot. And um, when we pull into the parking area, you know, we park, we park in this awkward parking spot too. And it's just like, I'm like, I just hope the person on the left doesn't hit us when they bag out. But then again, it's not my car, so I'm not going to trip about it. And, um, yeah, so we get into the uh, concert, you know. Like, the DJ was going off. And I'm talking about for, like, two hours. From what I got from the whole situation, from my deductions, Davies was late. Late as fuck. Nigga was late. Because, you know, like I said, the concert said it would start at 7 our, our time and then 8 p.m. Atlanta time. That nigga didn't get that about 8, I mean, to about 10, 21 or something like that. And the concert ended like, god dang. So that was part one of the Davies concert sideline story. Um, if you like it so far, like the video, you know what I'm saying? Please subscribe. Come on. Subscribe. We're nothing, nothing hurtful over here. Just subscribe, you know? If you watch it and you like it, subscribe, man. I got more videos coming, you know? Nothing, nothing too crazy, you feel me? But, um, if y'all did enjoy, um, Y'all could comment what was your favorite part of the part one, you feel me? You know? Or tell me about a crazy time you went to a concert or something. Just the whole plans just went left. Like, let me know. I know y'all have some stories, but um without further ado, it's your boy laid back since 96. And I'm out. 
Now we both the man, yeah, and we doing well, yeah. If you couldn't tell, yeah, all my friends bought whips. That was off one hit, yeah. Here one go again, yeah. Ooh, let's do it big, yeah. Ooh, let's do it big, yeah. Mmm, yeah.